I told her I was going to look for some snacks, and she said, there's some celery over there. She's adorable. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Weekend's Campers. This weekend, we are heading to Raccoon Lake in Rockville, Indiana. It's a 2,000 acre lake. The whole thing is a recreational area. So yeah, we went there last fall, if you've been following the channel at all, and there wasn't a lot of water stuff that we could do because it was so cold. So this time we're gonna go check out the beaches, And uh, but it's been an interesting journey. We just went through Lafayette, Indiana, got separated from our crew several times, and um, there were some sketchy, tiny turns that we were doing. So you never know what you're gonna get with the Apple Maps, but I think we're gonna get there here in the next hour or so, and uh, hopefully lots to enjoy this weekend. It's a hot one. My tires are currently 106 degrees. It's 95 degrees reading on the display on my truck. The high today was 90, no, tomorrow's 97. And the humidity is just ridiculous. So it's gonna be sticky. Hopefully the power stays on this time, unlike the last time we were camping, it was this hot. And uh, we don't know what's gonna happen, but it's gonna be hot, so. It's gonna be great. Stick around, let's go check out Raccoon Lake. Letting up, trying to check in is not fun. Getting soaked. Yeah. Yeah, we were near there last year. All right, now we need. Okay, thank you. I'm wondering if he's trying to go in that little teeny tiny site. So we're waiting on the person in front of us. Our window was open, by the way. Oh geez, did you close it? It was only open this much, so it? yeah, I closed it. I'm hoping for the best, but I'm assuming stuff got wet in there. Our oh, dinette, our dinette window opens when bouncing down the road. So when it rains, if you're not paying attention. Okay, am I going right? Yeah, you can't get around him. Well, I'll have to off-road it. I wish he would have pulled up farther. I know, but he probably has to go. We'll just drive right through the mud, buddy. We're looking for 134. This is going to be a mud pit. Yep. This is going to be a mud pit. 133, 134. Yeah. So, right here. So. Holy cow, how are you going to get in that? Well, I'm just gonna do this. I, I don't see any mud on our site either. It's all stone. There's not a giant rock or anything in there, is there? No. Well, at least we're on a hill and all the water will run away, but man, this is gonna be muddy now. They do have nice asphalt pads here though. I am very grateful for that at this moment. Anything wet in there? There you go. I I'm don't, actually I can't see anything. Turn on the ligates. Hey, that's not, did you fix this light? Yeah, fix both of them. Say good job, honey. Good job and thank you. You're welcome. Um, we are level left to right once this goes out. Okay, so here's the deal. We gotta pull forward just a little bit to get the power pedestal between the two slides. So I need you to throw something over your head and then come out here and tell me how far that has to be. Stop. Just on. My okay. son's hat is squeezing my brains out. His head is smaller than mine. You have so much knowledge. Whew. You look good in it though. That's a good, that's a good look. I mentioned how much I hate setting up in the rain. Hate it. But at least we have asphalt pads instead of the mud. So I'll take that. Good timing, dear. 
Mandy decided to just put our awning out. Good grief. Exactly the second we were putting it out, like when it got this far out, it like downpour. We just can't catch a break here. My new shoes are getting all wet. Now it's coming down good. Right your new shoes. My it's like my oh, camper is peeing. So Craig helped. He watched out the window while I backed <laughs> into this. <laughs> it didn't poke a hole, did it? I think we're okay, but I just touched Man. it. Man, <laughs> look at that one though. That it's could only have been about six inches from the I'm edge sorry. of my camper. See, this is why you shouldn't back two people in at one time in a rainstorm. <laughs> I was looking that way when he was coming back. I'm like, yeah, you're good. Everything looks good. <laughs> and now there's a tree almost growing into their camper. Well, what's wrong? Why is that tree even? <laughs> look at this tree. I know. It's that like it came proud. down while I was backing yeah, up. Yeah, you it must lost, have come all the way back and hit it. it. Lost a limb. I might have just stepped on a wet Wow. Okay, well, we'll hope that when you pull forward a couple inches, you're still okay. No, there's no damage, I don't think. All it's right. close. Yikes. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, we're down to about 86, 87. Got the, uh, got the standalone AC unit. We used to have this upstairs in our bedroom at our last house because it got so stinking hot. And I thought, well, why can't we put this in the RV? So, my camper's only a 30 amp camper. So I've got this 20 amp plug that goes out to the pedestal on a separate circuit. And then I got an RV dryer vent that we poke through the wall and this little stubby exhaust vent hose. And we can get it down to actually decent temperatures in here because the one unit in a 36 foot rig just doesn't it just doesn't do it so that was our solution to that and it works really good so our last camping trip in michigan we realized we had no rain gear no i had a hoodie and that was it and i said 100 percent we're absolutely buying an umbrella as soon as we get home it stays in the camper and doesn't go anywhere guess what we didn't get you two lazy bums so we just walked all the way to the camp store here at Raccoon Lake. It's 6.01 and it closes at 6. We are dying. We were the looking forward to air conditioning. But now we gotta make the long walk back. Oh, ice cream. Where are you? We made it back. And this is what we're doing. I'm standing underneath the air conditioning. Shelby's leaning down by the van. And Rory's got his shirt in the van. Oscillating. It's so hot! <laughs> yeah, the family's bummed that they didn't have... No, they didn't get to the general store in time. He missed it by one minute. I'll have to watch that video. Oh. Um, so I'm gonna do the noble thing and take them to get ice cream at the gas station. So we'll go see what they got over there. Hey, they're coming back, it's okay. Looks like they had ice cream. Oh my gosh, this is a problem. I can't, I Did you forget that we had a dog when you guys got ice cream? Nope, she mentioned Well, this is a problem because, hey, I can't eat this in the truck. It's going to drip everywhere. And you already have it on your shirt. <laughs> All right, everybody got their temporary happiness of ice cream. Let's go check out the beach on this bajillion degree day. Buda Beach. Buda Beach. All right, well, we got set up at camp here and uh, I think we're just gonna hang out tonight. Probably not sit around the fire, at least not for several hours till it chills out a little bit with the heat. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, we 
woke up to this again. This place is flooded. Well, it's a couple hours later and it's still raining. And our bedroom flooded out this morning because all the water that comes down off the awning right here and for some reason my gutter system was doing absolutely no good here it was all running right in this area and it either leaks here or it leaks here right here not here or here so much but right here nope ship shape but that's been a problem since the beginning of time so and there's a downpour we just suspect that water but there was a lot of water on the bedroom floor this morning so you just missed all the excitement, and I didn't get on video either. Me and Rory were just sitting out here, and we hear this. See the tree fall? Like a mega branch off of a dead tree out there fell and just like shattered into four giant pieces when it hit the ground. We all, we all kind of looked at each other like, did that really just happen? And is that gonna be me? Yeah, it's gonna fall. On if I die by a dead tree, I'm gonna be really mad. Minnie, could you spread out any flatter? What are you trying to get? It's like, I haven't gotten all of me dirty yet. Yeah. I've only gotten my butt dirty. Let me get my whole belly dirty now. The sun is setting over the lake. So we're trying to get a nice view of the lake. Walking on our hind legs and yeah, hopping like a jackrabbit. Do they still have the algae? What do you think, Minnie? That was a long walk, huh? Craig, what? you may want to come see this. I have the dog. I know, but here, I'll take her. Are you I'm sure here. I really want to see No, what? I'm not. Are you kidding me? Maybe if you cleaned your room once in a while, what just happened? A couple days ago, I was just sitting here and my foot got lodged under and I tried to take it out, but and when I took it out, the door went up. Dude, and you split. And then a giant Everything. crack went down the side, and then I tried okay. opening it this morning, and then, there we go. Okay, get out of there. I'm so sorry. Well, I knew I should have unscrewed this the other day. First off, you need to clean your room. But second off, good grief. Rory, the Grim Reaper. Yeah, that thing is sharp. It is sharp. So we survived the thunderstorms last night, but we couldn't survive Rory opening up his closet door. That's a bummer. We're doing the Diet Coke and Mentos experiment. I saw a guy on YouTube get four of these in one whack. So we're going to try four Mentos and one two liter. Against that tree as hard as you can. Don't miss. <laughs> Pick it up and stab it. That was weak. <laughs> Maybe. <you> <laughs> I felt that. Well, that was anticlimactic, but it finally blew up. Well, there you have it. There's a method to it, and we don't have it. What's a two liter cost now? We probably just threw six bucks in the garbage. That wraps us up with uh, everything we we're going to do here at Raccoon Lake. So, uh, we appreciate you guys watching. We hope you check in for the next one. Stay safe, and we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. TJ, somebody stole your idea, man.